Hi, Norm Norlander here. In this next segment, we're going to take a look at how to tie an even better classic mayfly nymph called the pheasant tail. In this version, we're going to try to do a couple things a little differently. First, we're going to put a little bit of weight on it using our copper ribbing wire. We're going to reinforce that delicate pheasant tail body so it doesn't come apart. Also create a more durable thorax with peacock curl and use a very tough, interesting, and durable wing case material called leather. Really works great, guys. Okay, I'm going to start out using the size 12 nymph hook. This has a turn down eye. Uh, it's one of my favorite hooks. This can be tied in a variety of sizes, really anywhere from size 10 to 20. First operation is to dress the hook as they say. This is putting a layer of working thread down there. When you do this, put your bobbin right against the shank of the hook and give your Norvice a spin. You can go in and out of the gape of the hook and lay down a base so your materials don't slip. Now it happens that nearly all of our mayflies, at least here in the west, have three tails. So we're going to use three pheasant tail fibers. Yeah, let me see, one, two, three, I fish can't count, but fishermen can, so we better do it right, guys. Okay, so there's our pheasant tail type fibers. And we're going to start towards the front there, and tie them in, work our way to the back, like so. Now at this point you can take and adjust the length a little bit. There we go, that looks just about right. Now as you pull down tightly on the thread, those tail fibers will flare out. So you can regulate the amount of spread or flare you want on them. Alright, that looks pretty good. And come forward and just pull those off. Now for weight as well as a rib, we're going to use some copper wire. It's nothing very special. A lot of people like to use brass, uh, gold wire as it were. Let's attach our wire up here at the thorax. And you notice I'm going to roll some extra wire on in here, about like so. Let's add some weight to it and as well as shape. Okay, and then you work your way back, right back to the tie in point. Okay, we'll clip that off, a little extra wire there. And that's going to be used as a rib, so you store that in your material holder. Now for the body itself, we're going to take several more fibers here. Uh, three or four would be about right. And this time we're going to tie them in by the tips. First, uh, run your thread back here like so, guys. And you don't have to completely cover up that ribbon material. It's okay to let a little bit of copper show through. Very gently tie in your pheasant tails. Run that forward right up to the thorax. Now hold on to this and then very carefully spiral forward like so. It makes a neat looking body. It's kind of segmented. Bring your bobbin back. Tie that off like so. Okay. You might want to secure that with a half hitch. And we'll reach in with our little pointy scissors. Clip off the surplus. Okay. Trick number two, grab hold of this ribbing wire with a hemostat. My right thumb doesn't work so good, so I have to use this to hang on to things. Now, normally we've been rotating the hook this way. We're going to counterwind this ribbing material, and what that will do is reinforce that delicate hurl body. You see how that goes through there? Okay, this extra wire that we have, you roll that right into position there where the thorax is, break it off. That'll add more weight to it. Bring your thread back, go over the thorax, and trick number two for the covert or wing case, we're going to use a little piece of leather. This is often referred to as bug skin. Uh, it's really kind of neat. Uh, you might look for uh, this material in places like Goodwill stores for ladies' purses or shoes or belts or something. But you just want some thin leather that's got a nice finish to it. Little strip of this. And we're going to tie this in upside down 
right here at the end of the thorax about like so and we'll secure that with a half hitch okay now for the thorax itself I use a little bit of peacock curl you take a couple pieces of hurl and as you know you want to use the tips the, the tips of the hurl that's this part up here that's the good part the other end is not so great kind of like asparagus okay so we'll tie in our tips and we'll secure that stuff is delicate you don't even use scissors to trim it you just pull the ends off like that but if you bring that hurl and your thread together the more vice you can spin it up into a chenille oops get that flap out of the way and that'll reinforce it yeah don't worry about that wing case it's going to be fine guys okay so now we've got a reinforced thorax we bring our leather over the top give it a bit of a stretch and beautiful wing case guys in front of it secure it with a half hitch a couple times and we'll trim that off like so okay again we get out our pheasant tail get a lot of mileage out of one feather here guys and I'll, I'll take about three of these fibers and I'm going to use the friction clamp this little job on top here set my vise sideways about 45 degrees lay those down take a soft loop another loop and tie it in okay might want to secure that with a half hitch and trim that off okay now we're going to rotate the vise around and do the other side you see how with this friction clamp you can hold that just wherever you want it it's pretty handy so again we'll get three more fibers and length about right catch that nice firm like secure that with a half hitch and there again you can pull that back and just adjust that slightly so you get the lengths on those pretty well balanced okay and we'll trim that off next we'll take a couple nice firm wraps like that and I'll start my head with a half hitch and I'll finish it up with a whip finish like so cut that off and there you have it guys it's a dandy little fly they really work I think you'll like it